This new Google Gemini coder is absolutely insane. And what I'm going to show you today is exactly how to use it for free so that you can step-by-step -step create your own tools, websites, apps, etc. Plus, I'll show you exactly how to host it. So we're not going to BS around here. We're going to get straight into it. You can see Hugging Face right here. It's not an official Google coder, but it is leveraging Gemini, which is Google's API, as you can see right here. And once you've navigated to this page, then what you can do is select your provider. Now there's many different options here. So you can get access to tons of different AI models for free, but we'll come on to that later. And the main thing that we're gonna focus on right now is Gemini Coder. And then from here, what you can do is you can select between the latest models. So Flash Thinking, Flash Experimental, Gemini Experimental, etc. These are the two latest releases from Gemini and you can code with them for free inside this model. So for example, let's keep it super basic. We can say something like, create a to-do list, simple to-do list with add and remove functionality. And then if we hit generate, so you can see it's just coding it out. Now, one of the interesting things about this is it actually just creates the code as a basic HTML, which makes it really easy to actually host, right? So instead of having to get all the project files, download them all, etc., you can just create an app in seconds and then you can download the code and host it really easily. For example, we've got the to-do list here. And we can say create an AI coder, we'll add that as a task. And the on our to-do list app is ready to go straight off the bat. Now you've got a few options here. So you can number one, go to system prompt. And here you can actually edit like the custom instructions for the system. So you can see inside the system prompt, it says you're an expert web developer specializing in creating clean, efficient, and modern web applications. The task is to write complete self-contained HTML files that include all necessary JSS and such. JavaScript, right? So you can actually edit the custom instructions for the prompts if you do want to make it more complex. But this just makes it very simple because now you can simplify the apps or the tools or the websites that you create, and then you can easily host them. And also it's going to reduce the amount of errors that you get inside your app. So you can edit that as well. And inside here, you can go to view code and you've got the code ready to go right here, right? Now you might be wondering, okay, how do I host it or how do I check it, etc. So if we scroll down on this page, we can select all the code like so, then you can go to something like HTML code editor, then you can go to something like liveweave.com, paste in the HTML in the top left box right there. And if we open this up, that is ready to go on the preview, right? Now, obviously you could create, for example, a similar sort of process inside ChatGPT or these other tools, but number one, you usually have to pay for them. Number two, they're very limited. Number three, you usually can't preview these sort of models, right? Whereas inside this Gemini coder, this is specifically built for coding, it's a free tool and it's very simple and easy to use. So you can grab the code like so, just save that offline, save it as a text file. So for example, I can just go to text, edit over here, new document, paste in the HTML, save that as HTML. And then from there, you can save it in a folder and drag it into Netlify so that you can host it as a custom domain. Now, if you're wondering, okay, what can I create? Maybe you're in a specific niche or a specific industry. You're not really sure how to leverage this properly. So we can go to something like ChatGPT and just say, okay, niche equals, insert your niche here. Give me a list of very simple apps to build. Shouldn't be related to live URLs or live days from the web. And then you would just customize niche with whatever industry or niche you're in. So for example, keyword grouping tool, we can plug that in to the prompts, hit generate. That's gonna go off and code the tool. And now we have the keyword grouping tool created in literally seconds, right? Let's test it out. So I'm gonna take some keywords from Ahrefs and just plug that in, group keywords. And look at that. Marvelous. You just can't go wrong with that, right? And so we just literally built a tool that people used to pay for in two seconds for free. And it actually works, right? Pretty crazy stuff. Let's test another one. So we're going to create the keyword density calculator over here, plug in the prompt, hit generate, and we have the density calculator ready. It's amazing how little actual prompting this requires, right? To actually get what you want. So if we put, for example, keyword suggestion tracker here, it's coded it. It's giving us the ideas. We're going to put, for example, SEO as a keyword, and we've created the app ready to go. Keyword ideas tool, let's test that out. We'll plug in the keyword SEO, test it out. We've got a bunch of ideas right there. Now, here's the other thing as well. It's like inside the code generator, you can actually edit and modify it, right? So if you're not happy with the outputs, you can change in the inputs, and this won't just generate a new tool. It will actually edit what's already here. So for example, for keyword ideas tool, I'm like, okay, make the background light green, going to go off, re-edit the tool we actually created previously. So you're not starting again or anything like that. And now we've got a green background, boom shakalaka, right? Because it's such a simple HTML, it's not going to be like bolt.new or these other free AI code editors where it takes five minutes to get the output back. You can just generate it in one click. 
What's pretty scary about this is you just wouldn't app developer or front end developer anymore, right? There's so many of these other options coming out, like I've talked about, for example, Bolt DIY, Lovable, Gemini Coder, DeepSeek Artifacts, etc. There's all sorts of tools coming out where you can just build anything you want in one click. And this is the worst it's ever going to be in Dreads. What you can also do is you can select Hyperbolic Coder. This has a lot of different options, as you can see for APIs. So for example, you can use Quen Coder, Metalama, DeepSeek version three. I think it will be a little bit slower if you actually use it. We can test it out and then you can just hit generate from here. There's also Grok Coder. So you can select, for example, like Llama. This doesn't always work. I think it is dependent on how many people are using it at the time, but you can see it's loading. It just takes a little bit longer and the output doesn't seem as good versus using Gemini Coder, which seems to have a full canvas when you get the preview. What'll be interesting as well is can you create the full web page? So I'm going to paste in a more complex prompt here. We'll say create a calculate website for the niche source context equals. So I'll put some personalized information about me, who I am, my business, and the links that I want to funnel traffic to. Then from there, we're going to ask it to create the content. So I'm going to say, add a navigation bar with each category, make the title and sentence and subheading, etc. have a word, have a blog post. So let's hit generate and see what that does, whether it can actually do it. So it can't generate a fully functional website, but it has created the one page lander. What we can do to get around that is we can simplify the prompt so that we just say, create a landing page. Let's try that. And there you go. You've got the calculated tool embedded inside the content. And that's how you can create one page landers. Now, if you went back and forth with that a bit more, you could eventually create something like I've built right here, where it's just a nicely designed page. You've got lots of nice content on there. And additionally, you've got more of a complex tool. And also the UI is much nicer as well. Additionally, you can set up like a pop-up on the exact match domain. So when you're building out this website, you funnel traffic to wherever you want the traffic to convert to. And what's nice about this is because you can edit the generator here, you can just spruce it up in a few different prompts improve the content, etc. right? So if we said, for example, add more content to the page, use my brand colors, hit generate, then we should be able to build out something that just looks a lot better overall. And there you go. So we're beginning to see a much more complex project, better design, it's definitely not perfect. You might want to use more of the later versions of Gemini. It's just because if I use, for example, Flash Experimental, it's going to take a bit more time for the outputs to come versus like 1.5 Flash seems to be really fast. So if you've got more time on your hands, then you can switch to a newer version of the APIs, which means you're going to get better outputs as well. So overall, the use cases are, and you can do all this for free, so you can create some apps, you can create like a one-page website that's an exact match domain. You can create your own blog posts inside the content. You can also build your own tools for your own use that you would normally pay for and that customize you and your business. Additionally, you can host and rank this content, and also it's useful for landing pages, right? So for example... Let's say there's a seasonal promotion going on for your business. You can build out a website like you can see right here using the same process. Now this was built with Bolt, which costs money, costs tokens. It's a bit slower. It's a bit buggier. Whereas inside this method right here, you can build out stuff really quickly and easily because it's so simple and easy to use. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to all the links, prompts, etc., from today. Additionally, what I've actually done is created a list of 100 use cases for Gemini Coder. If you want to have a little play around with that, it's super powerful, but very simple and easy to use. You can get access to all of this, plus my free SEO course, link in the comments and description. This comes with tutorials from the last two years of exactly how to use AI and leverage it to grow your business, including, for example, keyword research, SEO link building, quality control, traffic diversification, SEO systems. And if you go to the free SEO tool section, scroll down, you'll see all of these free no-code AI tools but also you'll get all the video notes from here directly today inside the Google Gemini Coder section. So feel free to get that link in the comments and description. If you want to get a free SEO strategy session, feel free to get that. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot for our clients. Feel free to book in this free link building acceleration session. It'll get you a free SEO domination plan. So you'll get a custom tailored link building plan so you can generate more leads, sales and profits from your website. Additionally, you'll discover the secrets of SEO link building. We'll answer any questions you have one-to-one, -one, and this is completely free. Normally, you'd have to pay consultants like thousands of dollars for this. We're doing it for you for free. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to 10x the SEO traffic based on what's working for us and our happy clients. Feel free to get that. Appreciate you watching as always. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.